Warwick's favorite concert, PETA controversy, and looking forward to spring. All that and more coming up on today's episode of Wildcat News. Welcome back to Wildcat News. I'm your host, Dean Nogarian. And I'm Jenna Polson. Let's jump right into our first story. Every year, the students at Warwick Valley High School look forward to the Pops concert, but why? Maddie Buchko is on the case. Each year, students, teachers, and parents alike come to the Pops concerts for its exciting and recognizable set list. While the concert is entertaining for the people attending, it's also an enjoyable experience for the performers themselves. The Pops concert offers a departure from the slower paced classics of other concerts. According to some of the students involved in the show, performing songs they already know and love makes the production much more exciting for them. We do a lot of really fun stuff and it's a good chance for uh, people with great voices to do like stuff they really like and like get into it. I love this concert because it's super fun and upbeat and like when we get the arrangements I tend to like know the songs already so like it's just it makes it a lot more fun. The upbeat styles allows patrons to tap their feet and sing along to modern hits. Audiences are also drawn by the presence of all three musical departments at Warwick Valley High School. The orchestra, band, and chorus all perform separately and in combination to produce a unique listening experience in a truly amazing concert. Not surprisingly, both students and parents enjoyed the concert. This tradition is certain to continue for many more years. Recently, a well-known animal rights group decided to take on a person who became famous for his work with animals. Let's see how the students of Warwick Valley High School see the issue. Last week, the organization PETA gained backlash on the internet from accusing the late Steve Irwin of being an animal harasser. We're here to see the opinions of students and what they think about this. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think this is an outrage. Steve Irwin was a saint, okay? He did so much uh, to fight and conserve animal species that were endangered. And you think about everything he did. He, 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 he made kids want to care about nature, right? Think about everything. My childhood was great, okay, because of Steve Irwin and the Irwin family and the fact that PETA is accusing him of animal abuse is absolutely ridiculous. I hate PETA now, okay, because Steve Irwin was a god and if you talk bad about a god, you will be smited. I think that PETA is completely wrong in their statement because of all the animal reserves and charities that Steve Irwin donated to and he never meant to harm any animals, especially the exotic animals he cl they claim that he could have possibly hurt. All he wanted to do was help them. I think it's downright disrespectful and disgraceful after all that Steve Irwin's done. He's, all of his work has only been to improve the quality of the education that we people have of nature and the outside and PETA accusing him of being an animal harasser. Very disrespectful, especially now that he's passed. I saw this in my Twitter feed, and initially, like when I like, and I my initial thought was disgust because no, like I've watched Steve Irwin on TV, and like I've known about him for a while now, and, and knowing what he's done, know, knowing what he does with animals and whatnot, he like he's like a, like a positive influencer, and like this only goes to sh like this only shows what like what like what truly is behind Peter. I think they uh, kind of make a valid point, but uh, you should probably just leave the guy alone. I don't think it's that bad. So as you can see, many people are not happy with PETA's accusations. For WVTV, this is Dan Walker. Clearly the students don't agree with the criticism of Steve Irwin. Many students have grown to love nature and animals because of the work he has done. Don't go away. An industry expert will share how being a chicken truck driver launched his career while Wildcat News returns. So what is right. that story even um, about? The first time I met Morris, the door flew open and I got this larger than life personality talking at the top of his lungs. Oh man, oh I totally forgot. Hold on, let me get this for you. So I thought, all right, we're definitely gonna be friends. Oh, Dapper Leon. Oh no. <laughs> He's the highlight of my week. He's always gregarious at the door. Dana, you know, like it's a surprise. I've known Mikhail and Jero about six months. You don't find many young people that want to be fooling around with us old folks. 
I come to the door, drop the food in the fridge, and the coffee is on. The things that can get you down, he's always like, well, that's how it goes. And he gave me some marriage advice right when I got engaged. No. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. She came in and she said, nobody else knows this but you. We're going to have a baby. And I thought, oh my gosh. Despite his vision not being so good, he sees who I am. He helps put me back in perspective. And then I just feel better. I said, you guys have no idea how I really feel, truly feel about you. Doing Meals on Wheels for me is the joy that I look for at the end of my week. I don't feel like I'm volunteering when I'm with Leon. Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at americaletsdolunch.org. America, 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 let's do lunch. Welcome back to Wildcat News. Seeing a successful person and wanting to be like them is something that many students experience at one point in their high school career. The ability to talk with them and learn how they got to where they are is a rare treat. The communication <clears throat> and communicating your ideas is what this whole endeavor is about. The video production students had a chance to speak with a professional in the field. Mr. Ab taught me a lot of good lessons. Uh, one that stuck with me is that, you know, not everything is as it seems because he was able to get a job as a chicken truck driver and that led to a long career in making commercials and other videos. So just kind of putting myself out there and taking what I can get because you never know where it might lead you. I think it's important for the students to get a true look at what a profession is. It's one thing to see something on television or maybe read about it on the internet. But to talk to somebody who's actually been out there doing it uh, sheds a different uh, understanding of what it might take to get there. One important lesson we learned was to hold a good reputation. In this field, if you make one mistake, you could be done. It's probably gone over the other one. So, so we had motion control. The funny thing is, though, the motion control you were using, which is called a graph light, is so old. Daddy Ab taught me that taking opportunities and seeing things that we can do or we can't do and just doing them can really open up worlds for us or like open doors as I should say and because you don't know what's going to happen if you do a certain thing or not so why as well put yourself in that position or that experience and learn from it because why not you know. The most important thing that a student could take away from any interaction with a professional is the need to have dedication and the need to be humble that uh, everybody sees where they want to end up but very few people will stop and think about the road they need to travel to get there. And I think any time you can come together with other people, it's a good thing. And so I think this is a really, a really good opportunity here at Warwick Valley High School to be involved in something that allows you to be more than just yourself. At the end of the day, it's important to make a name for yourself and work hard. Opportunity can come from any direction, no matter what a person chooses to do. The need to be determined is, and responsible is always the same. Teachers are as different as the students they teach. Here is a look at one special teacher and a view from the students she has in a class. Warwick Valley High School has many great teachers. One of my favorite teachers is Miss Bonet. Miss Bonet teaches English classes to seniors. I got a chance to talk to her about why she loves teaching. The most, most joy I get when teaching is when a student finally gets it or understands what I'm asking them to do and feels like they did a good job on the project or assignment. Not only does Miss Bonet love teaching, but her students love her classes and what she teaches. I'm in this class because, well, for starters, you kind of need it to graduate. And uh, well, it's, actually kinda, it's actually not that bad. I've always liked the literature, especially like uh, that. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, make that stuff. I like the tragedies. They're so much fun. The thing about this class is getting to hang out with my friends and, and learn new things about uh, books I've really never heard about. I am grateful to have Miss Bonet as a teacher because she allows me to explore my love of English. Never mind, Education requires two people working together towards a agreed upon goal. Thankfully, the students at Warwick Valley High School have such committed partners in that process.
because of you, I felt hopeless. Because you said rude things about my work, I started to question my own voice. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of your negative comments online, I've almost quit doing the one thing that makes me happiest in life. Because you shared something about me that was private, I felt embarrassed. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was gonna be okay. Because of you sharing your story with me, I feel comfortable sharing my own. Because you were there when I was coming out, you helped me regain my confidence. I'm still here today because of you. As winter is coming to close, our thoughts and plans change. Ask yourself, what have you been thinking about? Danny Moore Jesse headed out to see what plans are being made. Seasons go by fast, and winter prevents us from doing many of the outdoor activities that we know and love. We're here at Warwick Valley High School asking students what their favorite spring activities are. My favorite spring activity to do that you can't do during the winter is fishing. My favorite spring activity is playing ultimate frisbees with my friend. My favorite activity to do when the weather gets nice is to uh, barbecue outside and hang out on my patio. I mean, technically you could barbecue during the winter, but I don't like to because of the temperature, obviously. My favorite like spring activity that you can't do in the winter is really going to town just because it's too cold during the winter. I mean, you could go, but it's just not enjoyable. You can't, there's no like free range. If there's snow, you can't really walk on the grass. There's a lot you could do in the summer. You could like bike ride, longboard, like, there's places to go, Town Park. Uh, my favorite spring activity to do that I can't do in the winter, probably play basketball outside because, you know, pick up is where I grew up playing and it just reminds me of home, so yeah. Well, that was quite the variety of outdoor activities. Me personally, I love to play rugby with my friends. For WVTV, I'm Danny Moore Jesse, signing off. The answer to what people are looking forward to is as endless as the number of people that you ask. I'm looking forward to going back outside. Dean, what about you? I'm looking forward to beautiful weather and hanging out with my friends. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Wildcat News. Be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube for Wildcat News. I'm Dean Nogarian. And I'm Jenna Polson. We'll see you next time. <laughs>